All right, everyone. Episode 168 of the 580 show. Myself and Jason Frawley. Dante's on his way home from the Arnold right now. So um, pretty much, I think the whole episode will pretty much be Arnold stuff. Yeah. Um, first off, obviously, our producer of the pod, Dante, who's on almost every episode, competed this weekend. So good job to him. Uh, moved up to the 265 class. I think yep. he... He at least like, I mean, maybe sandbag toss, he underperformed, but yeah. uh, that was out of the four events that you do in the prelims, three of the four, he did what we expected or better. Yes. I would agree with that. Like his, his uh, sled drag was really good, but yeah, that's the best. He's, that's the best he's done from what I can tell. I mean, I, I didn't see it, by but far. yeah, I mean, just based on his training. So yeah, that's good. But no, we're going to talk pros and the amateur um i'll we'll start with the pros yep. and i know so you were actually okay so actually you were at the arnold yeah i went yesterday i went saturday how was the actual expo versus like it was it felt like the arnold's back oh really yeah it actually You're just did. saying like, that because the animal cage the animal cage was there i mean just so many more vendors were there compared to last really? year that's and cool. we didn't go in 22 so i don't know what it was like then but the crowd saturday was like the Arnold crowd you can expect like yeah. there was a lot more people it was a lot more cl- shoulder to shoulder there was just a lot more going on like it, it felt like the Arnold was really back to full swing which was nice yeah. so yeah because um, the reason I ask is because like I remember going the, everything is like in life now feels pre-COVID and post-COVID yeah right like we were guys that went we went in college and stuff you know mm-hmm. and that was when like the Arnold to me was crazy yeah. so Last year I competed and I was there as a spectator as well. And just like an expo goer. And it felt weird because you could comfortably walk around last year. Yeah. yeah. So that's cool to hear. I mean, obviously it sucks being packed, but it's cool to have more people. It probably still wasn't people. quite to the same level it used to be, but it was definitely yeah. like bigger. Like, and honestly, admittedly last year I went on Friday and I'm, I went Saturday this year. So uh, that okay. definitely has a swing too, but yeah. it felt much busier than what it had been. Uh, last year so yeah i was there on i was there on friday and saturday last year and even saturday didn't feel like uh arnold saturday because it's friday saturday sunday and always is like notoriously saturday's like the crazy day yep but uh but no man that's cool um it was good yeah so i mean the expo costs a lot more money now which like sucks a, a lot more and i mean it's like hey man like they got to make their money it's whatever yeah God, I'm not joking. I don't know if you remember like how early Arnold you went to, but I either went 2014 or 2015 was my first Arnold. I think 15 was my first year. Yeah, I think 15 might have been mine too. Yeah. And I I swear, I think it was $35 for a weekend pass. Yeah, I remember. And that remember. got you everything except the bodybuilding, which I didn't really care about, to be honest. Right. Um, yeah, because it used to be the all the pro strongmen used to be on the, the big stage, so you could just yeah. stand there and watch it. You didn't right. have to pay for an extra ticket to watch more. Well, so this year, even versus last year, this year was the first year. Because we'll start with the pros, so I, so I guess this kind of transitions into it. But um, last year, you could if you had an athlete. I don't know if it was like this for you. Could you just go in and watch the pros yeah. last year? I mean, we could peek our head around the corner, and like uh, if you stood in the right spot, you wouldn't get yelled at. But mm-hmm. Yeah, it was okay. like you pretty much needed a ticket. So the main, I mean, I guess the main change from amateur to like, if you were an amateur athlete last year, you got a pass to go in for free. Yeah, that's cool. That's and this year, this year you did not. So that sucks. That really yeah, big sucks. Time. Big yeah. time. But okay, so the pros, you didn't get to watch on Saturday really because you were there. No, I, I, I did watched, catch up on it earlier today. Okay. Though. I mean, I got to say, dude, I just love Rogue being – I I, I cannot believe that there's negative comments. Like, it really – I feel like we say it with the Rogue Imitational and the Rogue Strongman every year, like with this Mm -hmm. pod, but I can't believe that people are so negative. Like, I get being – having constructive criticism, but Mm -hmm. personally, I think Rogue does such an awesome job, Mm -hmm. and the prize money is insane. Like, when you watched, what did you think of the stream and everything? 
Uh, the stream is fantastic. I mean, it, there's no, uh, there's, I don't, I think they're second to none when it comes to the stream. I mean, the yeah. quality, the, uh, the commentary, everything that way is excellent. It's free. It's on YouTube. Anybody can watch it. They got all that part down. I'm good with all that. It's, a, um, it's amazing. I hold that thought, but it is amazing to just be able to go. Cause you know, with strongman, whether it's USS strongman corp, yep. anything like a live stream is just always, it just never works. It, right. it, 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 even if it's OSG, it just yep. skips. And for whatever reason, rogue has it figured out. Yep. They're, I don't they're, know what they're doing, but and I get, they got a big, they have a big, money backing right they have the, sure, the financial sure. backing to be able to invest in that but they also get a return on that too you know yeah so i mean i was watching the deadlift the uh elephant bar deadlift at work on friday yeah you and know it, like it just it's just so relieving to just log on to youtube and just watch and it's, it. just, it's just live and you just yep. watch and yep. you know to rewind as much as you want like yep. I like starting a little late and then I can kind of rewind and just yeah. in between that little doll time yep. and, and watch it all. But yeah, I watch it all. I will say the one thing that I think rogue has to figure out relatively being new into strongman is the events. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was going to be the only critic. I thing figured I that's kind of where you were going. The, the Denny stone walk, and this isn't specific to rogue. I just, I hate that. My event. opinion. I, I hate it. I, I hate honestly, watching it. I hate. I, yeah. I, I don't think it's exciting. I know there's a lot of tradition behind it, but I, I think it's one of the worst events that you can do. I really do. I, I actually think Rogue this weekend did the Denny Stones as good as you could. Yeah, I agree with like, that. I, actually, I agree with that. It was like the first time I was like, okay, I don't hate this that bad. It does it's amaze just, me that the women and the men don't break their feet on those real Denny's. Yeah. Like, that's yeah. crazy. But yeah. no, they did it good. I agree with you. I the, think some things like um like the Apollon's axle, I think is really cool. But giving them two minutes when almost everyone zeroed was like really rough to watch. Like maybe don't do it as the fourth event. Yeah. It's and, a four hundred pound axle. Yeah. And it's like also if you are gonna do it at the fourth event, maybe have it a little lighter. I get you want it to be four hundred, yeah. but yeah. it kind of was like either needs to be earlier in the show, like you said. Yeah. Or be lighter, or just be a minute, because yeah. Mitch Hooper was genuinely the only person. Mateus, I guess yeah. the, mm -hmm. the, there was three guys. Two guys mm -hmm. got four. I think Stoltman and Mateus got four, yep. and then Hooper got five. So out yep. of all the guys, there was only three that were actually somewhat entertaining to watch. Right. It was right. like literally like a minute and a half to two minutes of just watching failed axle after failed axle. Yeah. Yeah, and it's hard. It's a hard implement. We get all that. It was yeah, heavy. for sure. I understand all that part's understood, but I, I'm with you, dude. Like, yeah, it was, it, and like I, I will say, um, the women were really unbelievable, and there are yeah. some absolute freaks. The year I won nationals, the girl that won open nationals, yeah. she she won. Yep, and she had an incredible. Yep. What's her name? Jardine. Jardine. Angelica Jardine. Yeah. And she is amazing. And props all the women because it was actually a really awesome show to watch. Yeah, I will say though. Day two women's events, I thought were horrific. I mean, they I didn't were, like. They were why are the women doing a dumbbell and the guys are doing an axle? Okay, the dumbbell made zero sense to me. The point system. Okay. Okay, so if you watch, and may maybe I'm just an idiot, but I can uh -huh. I actually watched that event three times through because I was trying mm -hmm. to figure it out. But they had dumbbells. I think four or five dumbbells. And it was 132 was, I believe, the lightest. And then yep. 185 or six, whatever Sam Bellevue hit for a world record. I think that's literally the world record. Um, and she hit it, and it was incredible by her. But her press was worth a 1,000 points. They did like a scale. And okay. then the 132 dumbbell was only worth one point. Um, so how in the world would somebody doing 132 ever catch but somebody? They did, but the way they did it, they did four rounds. But girls kept skipping rounds and not coming out and getting points. And it, and then I thought like, I thought something was going to, it was just a poor job of explaining the event in my opinion. Like I said, maybe yeah. I'm a dummy and someone's going to comment. But like Sam Bell V won with 2,000 points. She won the event, 2,000 points. Yeah. And then the next closest was... 
someone was 600 and then the next closest was 400 and then like rebecca roberts and lucy underwood only had one total point it was got one rep on the lightest 132 but 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 like they didn't come out in the other rounds and try 132 i don't know if you were only allowed to hit it one time right i think it was because there was four okay maybe it was because there was four dumbbells you were only allowed to hit one each time like each round you did it twice yeah, maybe, but maybe you can only do the heaviest one twice. Maybe you could only do the last one. But like each round, like I forget who it was. I think it was maybe Inez. Someone came out and hit the 132 for four reps. It's like okay. Donna Moore or someone. I don't know. It was just all it was all over the place. Yeah. It was all over the place. Yeah. I think and like there's the stone event. The Jardine like Jardine stole the show with that. Yeah. Because yeah. she got and Matea stole it for the men. Yeah, of course. He's good at stones. I mean, crazy. like, I, we all know that Stoltman it's, is the king of stones. It's but crazy. like crazy. Mateus yeah. came out. Nobody nobody broke the last one off the yeah. floor. Yeah. He did it for reps. He did it four times? Three, four times? Yeah, three times. Yeah. Three times. So, and, he, uh, that's one thing with him is that you can never count him out for the Arnold because the events are always good man. for him at the Arnold. Yeah, if he I, could just deadlift, he would be a champion at the dude, Arnold. If, if he could deadlift, I mean, yeah, if he could deadlift, he'd be right in it. I mean, good yep. for him for jumping a second because, yeah, if you remember, like Mateus was supposed to be like the golden child, almost like what yep. Hooper is now. He just had so many and injuries, just injuries, surgeries. He can't deadlift. Right. And when I wouldn't say he can't deadlift. I mean, the dude's deadlifting in the eight hundreds, but yeah. yeah, at that level, that's truly a poverty deadlift. Honestly, yeah, like he's. I think he pulled eight sixty. Yeah, which yeah in the in that competition it's not it's no, not very it's good. Not. <laughs> I, I so. love that uphill frame carry. I think it's cool. I hope they I hope they bring back the Conan's wheel. That's an event. the The uphill frame run is an event that's very simple, but it's a very exciting. Yeah, like when people it's, get a good run, it's awesome to watch. Yeah. Right, like Hooper, Thor, Mateus. Like when they all went, like it's awesome. Now, it, it also you have to have that that contrast too of really good and not so good to mm-hmm. to appreciate the good performances. Yeah. Right. So like I get that, but that's a simple event that they're doing. I mean, you're watching somebody for eight seconds when it goes great and right. it's awesome. So I like that event. I really do. I like the Timber Carry. Yeah. No, I so. I do too. It, I mean, the events were okay. I just they all they, they all can't be perfect. I get it, and they're figuring it out. I think like cool events that are simple but awesome to watch. It a show like Arnold, like a Max Sandbag Toss, I think is always awesome. Like they've yeah. done that a couple times. Yeah. Just but hey man, they they learn. I it's okay, but Mitch Hooper, I honestly I was texting you about it. I just yeah. I, I might be wrong because honestly, people said it when Stoltman was on his little run, when Tom Stoltman went on his run, yeah. that like people yeah. literally thought he was just never going to lose again. But Mitch yeah. Hooper, as far as I've followed Strongman, Mitch Hooper is the most complete athlete of all time. Without, that I've without ever a doubt. seen. Like, I honestly. He doesn't God, have a weakness. I don't. His, his worst event of the weekend, he got third place. Yeah. He got third place in the deadlift. That was three. his worst event. Yeah, he won three. Yes. Um, that was the thing too that people overlook. Like he's winning all these shows before, not this before this show. He's winning all these shows. He's not winning events. No. So he's now he's winning events. He's, he's only going to get better. He's twenty eight years old. And he's been doing strongman for two years. Yeah. And he he his first international show was World Strongest Man twenty two. Yep, and he made the finals. And that was the last time I think he didn't win a major show that he's been yeah. in. His, he's been on the podium 13 times in a row. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's he think about that. I, I think World's Strongest Man, Rogue, like the big ones, the Rogue Imitational, like the ones that are real money. Mm-hmm. It, I, I think if Mitch Hooper wants to win, he's gonna win. I'm I, I it, he won he won the Arnold so handedly, like Thor pushed him a little bit. On yes. day one, Thor yeah. was actually winning on day one. Yeah, right. Now that's Thor's best event, and we'll talk. Yeah. We'll talk about Thor's deadlift too. But mm-hmm. I just, man, Hooper is Hooper. Thor. If if Thor isn't coming off of a four year layoff, 
Yeah, what happened? And he's still in a pro- but but I mean that's that's the reality. He was, but yeah, I would like to see Thor hit a prime like his true stride, his true stride, and see what that looks like again. Because I mean, somebody even like Martins too, right? He didn't have a great performance. You could yeah, tell that layoff kind of affected him, right? Yeah, Thor. Thor yeah. coming back after that layoff is so incredible to come back and look like how he did. Yeah. It almost makes you like appreciate his greatness because I do think Thor is. One of the greatest strongmen of all time. I agree. I and I hope he sticks with it. They said his age yesterday, and 34. I was I was perplexed. I thought he was older. Yeah. So Thor could have some really good years left, and I really hope he does. I think it'd be cool yeah. to really see a Thor and Hooper World Strongest Man. Push. Thor really had one bad event. He zeroed the last event. That that's really what cost and him the podium. That you know was what I mean. One- yeah, that well, it did a hundred percent. Yeah, he zeroed yeah. it, and that was that that stone event. And I did not. It's really I like dude it. pressing an like atlas it. stone over your head. I didn't like it. I just, I don't, I don't know. I get like, the idea. I'd rather, I'd rather see a block. Yeah, and, dude, a yeah. stone, a stone is so hard to definitively lock right. out. Yeah. Like and so I'm not, I think the people that got the calls were like, like they're they're being as reasonable as you can be for lock. Like you, your your arms aren't going to be straight with a stone. They're just not. They're not going to yeah. be perfectly locked out. Like I don't know. I just but when you when you've got Bobby Thompson struggling just to press it, it's he's one of the best pressers. Bobby in the Thompson world. got it with like ten seconds. He left. did get it, but he yeah. struggled. Oh no, a hundred percent. That's one of the best pressers in the world. He's not doing Bobby. it. It's like, is this really a fair representation of a press? Dude, Bobby is just you know? so damn consistent. I got to tip my hat to him. He just stays in it. Top American. Pulled one deadlift. Thor's Thor's okay. deadlift was incredible. Thor's deadlift was absolutely incredible, dude. Like, yep. like just watching that. God, it's. I <laughs> hope he sticks with it. I hope Man, he that ten oh six move like, like amateurs are pulling five hundred pounds. Dude, props <laughs> to him for not. Honest to God, props to him for not. Falling into the peer pressure to try yeah. another one because he was there to try to win the show. Yeah, there's no point. He won on he won on that pool and it was like that's yeah. all he needed. It's not how strong it works. I will say the the last thing I have about the pro and I I, I loved it. I hope I don't want to I don't want to come across like super negative. I loved it. Um, the injuries and the dropouts were crazy. Yeah. The last event they only had six of the twelve guys left. Yeah, that's how crazy. Is that? Yeah, that's brutal. Brutal. Evan yeah. Singleton, man, he just comes out so damn hot. And he's such a good – he's just such a good athlete. Like he, mm-hmm. it, And he comes out on that axle and he just like almost looked like he got overhyped. And that's me coming from someone who will never hit a 400 axle. So it's like right. – it's easy for me to say. But, I mean, these guys are lifting such enormous weights. There, it just shows the, the, the amount of just uh, – that they're putting on their body. You know what I right. mean? It's just, right. I, I feel yeah. for Maxine. I was just going to say, and on the first event, was it not his first pull too? He blew his lat. So, man. He tore his lat. Is what, is what I was bummed in the women too. Victoria Long, yeah. she she got hurt yeah. on the deadlift. Yep. And she's a great deadlifter. She she might have been the best one there. Yeah. Well, well, she won well, last. Yeah. She not won take last anything year. away from Jardine, but she was a defending champ. Yeah. So, so no man, that the pros were good. I'm curious what everyone thinks. If yeah. people think that Hooper won't win World Strongest Man this year, I think if it was gambling, obviously the events matter. That's the cool thing about Strongman. Yep. Like, but I, I name a, name an event that he's bad at. That's what I'm saying. There isn't one. There I isn't mean, like, one. I go to big Strongman events that there's going to be this year. World Strongest Man. He he won the set. He won the kettlebell toss over bar in his heat very yep. easily, and he already won yep. the show before that. At the Rogue Invitational two years ago, he won the yoke into log. He's mm-hmm. a he won the he won the press this weekend. He was one of the only guys to easily press that rock over his head. He won the frame carry. He like there's not an event third, he's bad at. third in the deadlift and only lost to Bobby and Thor. Yeah. Where's and he that's gonna... two of their best events? That's their best two events for, for them for I, the most part. I well, don't feel probably either. better presser, but yeah. I, I, it really does kind of bug me how much hate Mitch Hooper gets online too from like strongman. It's so I think people just take his words out of context. Yeah, I don't think dude, they understand. 
this guy is on the run of a lifetime in strength sports and he's trying to make some money. Like, dude, mm -hmm. why is I that? No, but yeah, Arnold pro is awesome. Uh, yep. Arnold amateur. Um, it's still going, we're recording this at like three in the afternoon. So they're just starting the live stream yep. now. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, we talked about Dante. Good job to him. Um, I don't really know what stuck out. I actually liked the way they set up the sandbag toss. I thought that yeah. was actually really creative. Yeah. Um, so what I was curious there. about just being there was I was curious if, if let's say somebody threw a sandbag and it cleared the first two heights, did I they had to go that. get it and throw it again. Like I nobody did. That. I'm yeah. assuming they would have to go get it and do it again. Yeah. But I yeah, thought it's that, just kind of, I chuckled at that when I was thinking about it. So no, but congrats yeah. to everyone. You know, I should start by saying congrats to everyone that competed. You know, For no sure. matter where you do finish, like you are at the Arnold. It's really cool. It's cool mm -hmm. to see people, selfishly, people that qualified through bridge go and do it. Yeah. Like this morning on the main stage, Josh Spurgeon won the deadlift mm -hmm. in the open. Like he won the deadlift and mm -hmm. he qualified through Battle of the Bridge this year. Right. So there's your reminder to sign up for bridge because every class gets an Arnold invite, the winner yeah. of each class. But he kicked my teeth in a bridge. Dude, he's a strong young guy, <laughs> man. He's young, yeah. too. Yep. Don Schellinger, who's also qualified from the Arnold through Bridge. He dude. kicked my teeth in a bridge, too. He's <laughs> like, he's there. Um, Calvin Sexton's done Bridge. Yep. I mean, just just a lot, a lot of people, man. And yeah. um, I, I will say the one guy that really surprised me in the Open was Nathan Warfell. He's in third yep. going into date the second day. He actually yep. won our giveaway. Um, But, man, like, there is just – there are so many freaks. What did you think of the events being there? I mean, guess you should. Um, be the press medley, for as much hate as that got through, like the setup, actually was very visually appealing. Yeah, it was dude, very it visually appealing. Um, ran pretty good. The it was interesting to see people just start skipping implements. Yeah, because it, as you got later into the like into your class, you kind of knew whether you could afford or not afford to skip and implement and you could tell like later on in the classes some people like uh, I, I watched a lot of the super heavyweights just jump right over the dumbbell yeah because it was it was 220 which is pretty heavy especially being the fourth implement of the event um they just walk right past it so the sandbag was good not that many people finished it which i think they do a good job of the thirds for the amateur championships um you know the top third yeah. middle third bottom third um, the squad event was really cool. Really liked the squad event. Um, it was a lot of people were saying that it was more like a good morning than it was an actual squat, just because of how the setup was. Um, I thought the but, setup looked really cool. I'll be honest. Yeah, it looked awesome, visually like, appealing for sure. Um, anytime though, it it's all it's kind of my opinion. Anytime you do a bottoms up squat, like an Anderson style squat, yeah. it's gonna almost turn into a good morning. Yeah, because you're trying to like. You're really trying it, – it's just a different – it's a different lift. You, it, yeah. It's not going to feel like a true, true back squat. I honestly thought they did a really good job with the amateur Arnold – like amateur Arnold relatively yeah. with the events and everything. Like I – I, I, I didn't stay up, for the – I didn't stay for the sandbag, sandbag. Like the a bare foot off again. What's that? Did you see it turn into a bare foot off? Yeah, I did see like that. I saw that. Hats. Everybody had their – yeah. Um. But the yoke slid really easily, and they did have an apparatus attached to the yoke. Yeah, I noticed. So that. when it got that loaded over, cool. that was pretty cool. That was cool. I liked it. Yeah. So. I mean, it does seem like James Deffenball, like they come up with these crazy events, but it seems like they do find a way to like make them. Like James gets creative with that stuff. Yeah. Like the yoke being a sled to drag back. That's cool. Good yeah. idea. Mm-hmm. But I'll the, be very curious to see how the finals shake out. The crowd was really into the press medley. Really? Like not just not just strongman competitors. Like, because like if we all compete, I mean, if we compete, then we're all kind of watching. But there were people standing next to me watching the press medley, and they were all, I mean, people were invested. They're like, yeah. oh, he got it. You know, like they're cheering for like the, and it, it was more of a fan base. It wasn't just us. Like it wasn't other fellow competitors. So that was a good thing to have, right? Um, the crowd, the crowd at the pro was yeah. insane this year. Yeah, 
Like yeah. it was actually insane. It felt like a legitimate professional sporting event this year. Because it is. I mean, it is. Hannah, Hannah Lindsay got back to pro. She did a great job this weekend. Yeah, she was on the pod. That's why I mentioned that. But yeah. no, any did anything else stick out about the amateur Arnold? Like while you were there, mm, not not particularly. I mean, some people did had some good performances. Like the one guy, the one guy flew through the sandbags. The the toss. Yeah, I mean, he crushed it. Didn't even have a hiccup. He hit ev- all six throws, like no problem. So everybody yeah. was excited for that. There wasn't anything that really jumped out beyond that. But I yeah, saw I mean, a firefighter was, for America's strong or uh, yeah, strongest firefighter. Uh, hit a three ninety six sandbag to shoulder. Yeah. What yep. do you think? What do you think the heaviest sandbag that'll get shouldered as as we're kind of watching now? Like, I'm gonna say four forty one. That's pretty. I think somebody who hit the two hundred kilo. I think the four seventy four. I just it's the last event, if I remember right. Yeah, I think it's the last event. Well, by the end of it, that you're gonna be pretty beat down. Yeah. So I won't be surprised if somebody does hit a 441, but hey, I hope I'm wrong. I hope somebody does the 474 or even heavier, but we'll see. So, yeah. well, it's always cool. I I do think like the coolest thing about the Arnold Amateur by far is the that the winner of the Open Super Heavyweight gets to go to the main stage the next year. Yeah, yeah. like I just think that is such a cool thing. Yeah, to that's really definitely the, that's definitely the allure, right? That's what gets people on board with it for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, but, but well, all right. Well, it was a fun weekend, at the Arnold. I'm sure, like Dante, will talk more about maybe his experience next week yeah. while he's on. I'm holding my babies crying right now, <laughs> but uh, but no, we appreciate everyone listening. Probably, you want to take us away, close us out for the episode. Yep, thank you all for listening. Don't forget, sign up, battle at the bridge three. It's coming up June 1st. Now that we're past the Arnold, we can talk about it. So. Yeah, also, um, he just stopped crying. There's a lot of confusion. You don't have to be qualified. We've said it a lot, but you do not no have to be qualified. Right. And no matter participation, uh, the winner of each class gets an Arnold bid. Yes. So, yeah, close this out for like. Sorry, I wanted to add that because I right. got like three DMs over the last week about that. Yeah, good. All right, so that pretty much wraps it up. Catch you all next week. Yep, see you guys. Peace. Thanks. See you. Sweet.